Well, hello and welcome to Blue Lie Day 19. There's a doggo coming for you. <laughs> Anyways, hi, I am home. I've been actually home for a little while. I just finished my walk with the Doyle dog and I got a bunch of packages, but only one of them I can show you. So let me turn you around and I'm gonna tell you a story about a hammer. Looky here, I got a new hammer. This is my old hammer. Do you see something wrong with the head of this hammer? It's kind of kitty wampus. Hmm. So, let me tell you a story. So Lowe's finally sent me this replacement hammer. So here's what happened. Remember the whole debacle about Lowe's not delivering stuff and all of that? Well, anyway, they were supposed to be slated to pick up a pallet, like a really big pallet. It was like a 12 foot pallet, I want to say. And anyway, the person that came to pick it up wasn't equipped to handle it. So they needed my hammer to essentially disassemble the pallet. And in, in the meantime, ended up breaking my hammer. So I'm afraid to use it because obviously the head of it is like jacked up and it's probably gonna like fall off. So this can go in the permanent file. And now I finally have my own hammer, so yay! Cause what is it, the 19th today? So I've been waiting on this for over a month now. Way to go. <laughs> anyway, well, I definitely got an upgrade, obviously. This was like in a little kit, like a home improvement kit that I got many, many years ago. And it fits in my little home improvement kit thing, but this does not, which is fine. I just need a hammer so I can start putting some stuff up. You know what I mean? So I got a fancy blue cobalt one that's like, really heavy, it's like really heavy, but that's all right. 16 ounce forged steel, ooh, fancy. So that's my hammer story. I'm finally, I'm so glad that I finally got it, but um, oh, it's anyway, it's been, it's been interesting. Um, there's a dog, whoa. Can I help you with something? This dog, I swear. <laughs> oh, do you guys see, hold on. I can't do this right. See what's on the banister over there? Whoa, right there on my fingertips. Do you guys see? Do you see? It is an Erin Condren laundry bag. Do you guys wanna see it? Some of you probably do, so let's take a look at it. So I got suckered into the Erin Condren-ness when she released a whole bunch of new stuff. Um, this is the first thing I've received in all of the things that I placed an order with, but this was the only thing that I needed like custom printed so like all their fabric stuff like their bags not all their bags like their pencil pouches aren't custom done but anything that's like canvassy i feel like comes from a different supplier same with their throws so they always come like a day or two before everything else so anyway i got this which I thought was super cute. I did not get it personalized. And I figured, okay, so I'm not big into like dry cleaning, but I figured this could maybe be my dry cleaning bag. I did not realize how big the damn thing was. Cause holy bajolies, you guys, this thing is ginormous. I was looking at it and I'm like, I'm pretty sure I could fit in there. If I like crouch down, I could probably fit in the damn thing. It was kind of marketed as one of their back to school items for, you know, people going off to dorms and things like that. So it'd be great for a like college student or something. And um, I got the custom colors. I got, I believe it's called linen is the like base color. And then, you know, the black and white, you can't change that. So you get to choose whatever color you want. So I don't know, I got the linen. I've gotten linen actually with lots of other things too in that same blossom print. I think it's blah, I don't know. I don't know the name of the prints of anything, you guys. But yeah, I'm not really doing much today. Um, I got my Wednesday video up, which is great. And you guys seem to really like the Christian Designs haul. Um, so I think, I don't know if I'm gonna do this or not. I might clip this little clip out. But I think tomorrow, which you guys will see a video before this anyway, maybe. I'm thinking about posting one of my organizing videos on Thursday and then having this video load after that because I already have, I'm like several weeks ahead right now with my Wednesday videos and a lot of you guys wanted to see an organizing video. 
this Wednesday, but I decided to put up the planning video because the organizing videos are gonna kind of make a little bit more sense if I do them in the right order, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, I think I might do that. I think that'd be kind of fun to do because like I'm not posting enough freaking videos on the internet right now. Jeez Louise. Um, but yeah, so it's uh, it's interesting. And also, Thank you for all of the comments about the laundry talk. Um, if you guys have more laundry top talk topics or questions, feel free to post them below in the comments. And um, you know, I'll I'll just do like a laundry talk series. That would be kind of fun. Someone suggested to not do laundry talk like right now, but wait until after the vlogs are over. But I think maybe Fridays for the what? If, well, how many more Fridays do I have? Two. There's only two more Fridays, I think. I will dedicate to laundry talk. And then I'll go back on these vlogs when I feel like doing a chatty video. And it might be a laundry talk video, or it might just be uh, sit with me at the kitchen table and answer questions or top, talk about topics. Wow, I can't talk today. And um, yeah, so if you have any questions, like the weirder the better, like put them down below because I don't know, I just, I just get a kick out of what you guys want to know from me. Cause you know, I hold all the secrets. <laughs> That's a lie. Oh, also had more delivery drama today. So let me tell you a little story. So you know how I went back, like what was it a week ago and I ordered a bed for my guest room upstairs over there. Um, yeah, because I have a guest coming to stay with me very, very soon. It'll actually happen during Vlulai, so you will see my guest. They only deliver to my area on Fridays, which is totally fine. They were all booked up the week that I was there, and they were like, okay, well, this, this Friday, like, this Friday, they could come. And I think it's, what, the 21st? Yeah, the 21st on Friday. And I was like, great, sounds wonderful. And they said, well, what time would you like it delivered? And I said, well... My mom has a class that she goes to in the morning, so she'd be available, you know, noon or later. And they said, no problem, we can make that work. So of course I get an automated phone call this afternoon at work on my cell phone and I answered it, which is rare because I normally don't answer my cell phone at work because I'm busy, you know? I was waiting for this call and I didn't know if it was gonna happen on Wednesday or if it was gonna happen on Thursday. So anyways, answer the phone call and it says, your delivery is scheduled between 10.15 and 12.15 on Friday. And I'm like, wait a minute. Uh, specifically my sales rep said I could have it after noon, so like noon or later. I said, I don't care if you come at 7 p.m., just it has to be noon or later. I don't have anybody else that can be here. So anyway, I pressed the zero to get to the operator, talked to the other salesperson, or you know, the, essentially the person that's like coordinating all of these deliveries. And they're like, well, it looks like in your area, um, our delivery service people are planning on being out of your area by 12.45. And I'm like, well, is there any way to make my delivery last because I don't have anybody to be here until noon and I have somebody coming to stay with me I've got to get the room set up I've got to do a bunch of other stuff and you guys only deliver once a week so is this gonna happen next Friday too like that's my fear um, and I said and I need some place for my guests to actually stay like they're not staying in my bed with me so I I don't know what to tell you and they're like well you can come and pick it up I'm like well I already paid you $60 I think it was like 60 bucks, like 59.99 or 69.99 or something like that for them to bring it to me. I talked to my mom. She is going to be here as soon as she can, but um I did talk to my dad and my dad is going to be at his place, which is about 10 minutes away, um in the morning. So he doesn't know how I want it set up, so I think I'm going to have to like just draw him a little diagram in case it happens while he's here. I don't really like trust him enough with like home decor slash design to do it the right way. I don't know. Anyways, my mom knows exactly what I'm like wanting to do, but my dad has like no clue. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that they actually deliver it when my mom is here. So that would be really helpful. But the gal on the phone did say, well, I can try to see if you can be the last delivery, which doesn't really mean anything, unfortunately, but it's like all the issues I've had with like the flooring company and not the flooring company, but like Lowe's and all the deliveries and whatever. And it's like, I work all the way down to Minneapolis and I work, you know, my commute's like 45 minutes to get to work and about an hour to get home because, you know, there's more people on the road in the afternoon and it's like, I have to work so I can buy this crap. You know what I mean? Like I can't take time off of work 
to sit around for a few hours. Like, I just really wanna get this bed delivered. And I know this is like totally first world problems and I should be complaining, but it's just frustrating. Um, I think I'm more frustrated because of like all the stuff that went down with Lowe's last month. So it's like, oh, just another issue of delivery and people not understanding and not reading notes and I don't know. I think I get more frustrated because I coordinate stuff all day long at work and it's just really frustrating. And I'm like extremely frustrated today anyways because I had issues with a couple of my contractors not doing what they said they were gonna do today. Um, like for later on in the week, which totally jams up my schedule and all my inspections and like it just throws a monkey wrench in everything So I'm currently looking for more contractors. Oh, if you guys follow me on Instagram You would have seen that because I posted it on Instagram um, I was like making notes of all these people I needed to call and email and inquire if they did um, you know residential work and all of that so I've made about half of the phone calls I need to make more phone calls and emails tomorrow But it's just frustrating because I know how this all works and really it's I can't guarantee anything <laughs> so <sighs> But hopefully everything works out and I'm pretty confident that my dad will be able to tell them how I want the bed set up. And it's just a full bed anyways, so I should be able to just move it myself. Um, so we'll see. I think I, think I should be able to do it um, by myself. But um, they're gonna set it all up, which is great. Um, get the, you know, get the bed frame, like the, the base set up and then um, put the box spring and mattress on top. And then I will, when I get home from work on Friday, I'll put the um, headboard on and do all of that stuff. So I'm gonna have to move it around anyway, so it's not a big deal. So I'm kind of thinking it might fit a different way than I was originally thinking, but we'll see. You guys will like see it kind of all come together too. I'll do a dedicated video also on my guest room and like link where I got everything and kind of go into more details and stuff too. But very excited to get this bed, but I just really hope that everything works out on Friday. So we'll see, we'll see. But I am gonna go grab something for dinner in the food room. I think I'm just gonna eat up the rest of those leftovers. There might be like a meal and a half left. Um, I don't know. I'll have to take a peek at everything. I'm gonna have some of that and then I will check in with you guys in a little bit when something interesting happens because nothing interesting is going down on Wednesday night here besides my new hammer because that's pretty cool. So I have had dinner, just putting some things away. Nothing very exciting going on. So yeah, um, I think I'm gonna close out the vlog here. I know that it was like only one clip before this one, but I don't, see this is like my fear with vlogging. I don't really have anything interesting going on in my life. <laughs> the only thing that's interesting that happened today was I got myself a new hammer. Cause you know, hammer time. I hope you guys understand that reference. If you don't, you're way younger than I am. <laughs> but I wanna get this footage inside of my computer like ASAP because I want to go to bed early. I said I was gonna go to bed early yesterday and somebody, not me, decided to throw up. So, yeah. I'm like, hmm, that's nice. So, and that was about an hour into Attempting to go to sleep if you don't know who I'm talking about I'm talking about this one right here Yep, he didn't eat anything weird either by the way. I don't know sometimes dogs just throw up. Oh doodle Doyle I should have you in every thumbnail, huh bud? You get goobies in your eyes. I gotta get the goobies. I gotta get the goobies Good job, buddy I should have Doyle in every thumbnail. Then to get all the views, Doyle, you can get all the views. <laughs> You're so cute. You just look you like a loaf. You're like a shibi loaf. Hi. Oh my goodness. Hello, hello. He just wants to get closer, so I pet him more. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. But anyway, I think I'm gonna close out with the with the Shiba cuteness, cause why not? Um, but anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow. There might be an interesting video up tomorrow. I don't know, I haven't like fully decided. Oh goodness. I haven't fully decided if I actually want to um, post that extra video or not. I don't know. What do you think, Doyle? Should I post the extra video? Should I? He's no help. You're no help, Doyle. 
You're just no help. You're no help. Anyway, I'm gonna close it out here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry, nothing interesting really happened today, but oh well. Doyle's cute though, so I guess I guess there's that. But keep the questions coming for the laundry day Q&A thing. Um, you can put them down in the comments if you want to ask anything or have a topic of conversation. Um, just type laundry day or laundry and then the question. But if you guys have like a legitimate question about today or anything and you don't want it answered in the laundry day, just ask a question and I will answer as many of you as I can. So anyway, we're going to go. It was cool hanging out with you guys today, and we'll see you in the next vlog. Right, Doyle? You gonna see them in the next vlog? Yeah. Yeah. Doyle challenge accepted! Da. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! You gonna say goodbye? Say bye, guys! I'll see you later! <laughs> oh, Doyle. Bye, guys!